So it's April 4th, and this shows uh, the benefit of the half dish because your cooking pot can be left in this, will be in the same position all the time while the, um, the reflector can move. So um, the, the cooking pot uh, will be, um, will take all the light. So you can see the light shining in there uh, underneath. And uh, this doesn't perfectly focus the light because it's, uh, it's made of uh, strips. So the, the width of the focus is not going to be quite right. So it could, this could actually be a bit further forward. But it does focus the, the light well enough to um, you know, light up the wood. Well, not light it, but well, probably light it eventually. But I'll take it off. And see where the, the thing is just under. There's probably slight adjustment to make, but I'm not going to bother with to adjust the model anymore. I'll make the full sized piece now. But yeah, it's just on equatorial mine, mount, so it just ro rotates on one axis around to follow the sun. And uh, this I had to, I had to change the declination this morning, so it was at uh, four and a half degrees, and it's up to five and a half degrees now. So that's the thing that you have to change to get. Uh, um, and this just turns very slowly at fifteen degrees per hour to follow the sun. So once you set it up. Um, with uh, drive that will turn it like that. That's all you need to um, do solar cooking all day. So yeah, I think it can be. Uh, and no one does. No one does this um, this kind of half dish thing. But uh, it's quite honestly probably the way to go because you be, have your stand here, which is separate from the the solar cooker itself that will um, uh, stay stationary so you can have uh, a cooking pot on top or you can have a solar dryer on top and just slide one in slide one out and uh, it's, it's a done deal so it does get quite hot obviously so um, that's how it is at the moment. Anyway, there's the old one. The uh, reflective material I used, uh, it lasted for a season, I guess, but it was starting to slow down a lot at the end of the season. So on on my new one, the, uh, my new reflector for this year, I will use um, a different material. Now people say, uh, why did you just leave it like that? And that's um, to see how long the material, how badly the material would fade over the winter. So um, yeah, there, there is reasons for doing things.